Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Let me know in a comment down below. Today we are going to be unboxing more magic. If you're a subscriber of mine, you guys know the drill. We love to unbox some magical treats. And today is no different because we have a special edition, a special edition. Yes, this is the High Security Vault by The Wizarding Trunk and I am actually sponsored by The Wizarding Trunk for this video today. So if you like what you see and you get to the end of this video and you're thinking, hey, Cherry, I would love to get one of these Wizarding Trunks for myself. Well, I've got you covered. I've even got a discount code. Head on into my description down below, click on the link if you wanna subscribe and don't forget to use the code MAGICALFAMILY to get yourself some deals and some money off but let's get started because firstly this box looks really cool which we will discuss in just a moment but hey if you do happen to be new here on my channel firstly a big hello to you if you would like to subscribe don't forget to press the subscribe button <laughs> I've been doing this for years and I still forget my intro <laughs> But hey, if you're brand new to my channel, firstly, hello, welcome, don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's get cracking because we have got some magic to unbox. Righty ho then, here we have it. This is the Wizarding Trunk, the high security vault. Firstly, this is probably one of the most impressive box designs that I've seen from the Wizarding Trunk. It looks like it's made out of really aged like steel or iron or something. We've got some kind of little statue heads on there which look like dragons. Um, let's take a look at the other sides. We've got the Wizarding Trunk here. There's nothing on the back. It does say fragile magical delivery. I definitely haven't dropped this box today. Um, a quarterly special edition so they do release four of these special editions a year and it is magical post okay let's just dive straight on in there then i will give you a cheeky sneak peek and here it is i'm seeing some exciting things let's put this box to one side and start going through the items the first thing that grabbed my attention was whatever is inside this box with the shiny shiny gold foiling so i'm just it's got a lid i love boxes with a lid okay are we ready Okay, this is a key hook. I'm not gonna lie, I have seen this idea before. Um, but this is a massive key hoop and it has all of these chains on there. I'm guessing you could add all of the wizarding trunk keys to this, but there is a part of me that kind of wants to just add my house keys to this because this would be so easy to find in a bag. It wouldn't fit in like a tiny little handbag but just a rucksack or just a bigger bag or a tote bag and you're trying to like get your keys out you just reach for the big bangly hoop maybe there will be a key in this box who knows i guess we will find out as we open more of the items but yeah it's really nice it is made out of this kind of uh faux aged antique it's kind of like brass rather than gold, but it is a gold color. This does also unhook like so, so that you can get your key rings on and off with ease, which I quite enjoy. And there is also a loop. So I guess you could attach it to bags or something, um, or maybe like the loop of your jeans or that kind of thing. But yeah, so that is the first item. It's definitely got me intrigued to see what else is inside this box, but I did very much like the foiling on the lid oh there's so many things in this box the next thing that has grabbed my attention i just realized what these are <laughs> these are oven gloves and they have <laughs> they're going on they've got chili peppers all over them <laughs> There's not many gifts of me on the internet, but there is a gif from when I had red hair and I did a Magical Kitchen episode and it's just a gif of me being like... <laughs> Don't ask, if you're an OG to this channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But yes, these are 
some quite lovely oven gloves. These will come in useful. I quite like that they're not attached to each other as well, because quite a lot of oven gloves are. They feel really nice quality. The insides of them look like this, as you can see. They're very thick. They do have the little hangable hooks as well, so that you can hang these up in your kitchen, or maybe, you know, in, in your hut with your dragon eggs, if some of them are too hot. But I'm guessing this is to represent our beloved Hagrid when he was like holding the hot hot dragon egg but either way those are very cute um very practical you guys know by now I do quite like a practical product and both of the ones we've currently unboxed do have practical practicalities to them oh okay let's take a look at this special edition pin it is a double clasp let's just get it out of the crinkly crinkly this feels like it's going to be quite a large one i think it might be a wizard portrait one but let's flip it around aha uh -huh. oh that's really lovely it is it's to represent hagrid it's in this really beautiful kind of aged gold ornate frame i think it's captured his personality very nice i'd love to know who's done the artwork for that because that's really pretty. I will say you guys may have seen my updated pin collection recently. The only thing about these ones and why they're not on my pin boards is because they are so ginormous but I do really like them and I think they're beautifully made but yeah compared to all other enamel pins they're a little bit too much on the chunky side but I do understand why they've made them this size so that you capture all of the detailing in the artwork because you just wouldn't be able to get that if they were like a quarter of the size or even half the size for example but they are a nice little keepsake maybe I will add this to my kind of first year slash Hagrid's shelf which I I do have it's out of shot at the moment but yes that is a lovely one I do quite like this series that they have going on at the moment with the magical kind of wizarding portraits and that's a really loved one and um uh let's just take a moment for Robbie Coltrane as well who sadly passed away um yeah that is a big loss to the wizarding world community for sure mm. You guys know I love I love these kind of mystery mystery black boxes. Okay, this says unlocking magic. It's in a black box. This time we've got some silver foiling, but hey, silver and gold foiling, they're almost as good as each other. Let's unlock the box, shall we? Ooh. Oh, I like that actually. Um this is quite a chunky. I think it is a key to Hogwarts. We've got this beautiful kind of like hog statue with the wings, which I believe are at the gates of the Hogwarts castle grounds. And we've kind of got some like pillars here. I'm trying to have a little look. And even the key itself looks like little walls and turrets. And we do have this cute, tiny little charm, which also has that same hog on it with a little keyhole on it which is quite cool i'm not the biggest fan of these keys from the wisting trunk but with that said i actually quite like this one i think it's uh more it's one of their more tasteful ones for sure i feel as though they're kind of making them a little less chunky and it's quite a nice little keepsake so yes i could add this to my key loop if i wanted to but yes i do like the design of that one that's quite cool i will pop that back into the box for safe keeping right let's open a mystery brown box i do like these as much as the nicely packaged ones are just chef's kiss the brown ones usually have something more interesting and bespoke inside so let's give it a little open shall we honestly it feels like christmas every time i open one of these boxes like magic christmas which is quite nice it's always nice to have them arrive on your doorstep and it's like oh i have an entire box of magic so yeah i do recommend them they are a lot of fun okay oh, polystyrene even better that's when you know it's fragile and probably quite cool so it will either be made out of maybe glass china or resin potentially i do not like polystyrene so give me a moment <laughs> yep okay here it is that's actually pretty clever this is cool easter's coming up i'm just saying but yes this is let me get my let me get my glove because you know this might be quite a hot hot dragon egg 
<laughs> oh, it's really cute. I really want Norbert to like crack out of it. And then, well, maybe not. I don't really want him to set fire to my studio if I'm being completely honest, but that's really fun. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it is very clever and it's something that I've not really seen in a subscription box, kind of like all together with the gloves and the Hagrid theme. I love that they've included that. It's actually quite weighty. I don't even know what this is made out of. It's, I think it is just a resin, but it doesn't feel hollow or cheap, put it that way. And I really like this beautiful bronze paint job as well. It's really, it's just really slick. So yeah, a nice simple product, but yeah, that's quite funny. And also I will note that, I don't know if you'll be able to see very well, but it's it's got almost some char marks on it to make it look like it has been over the fire to make it hatch. That's a nice little detail. They could have just stuck with bronze, but they made it look like it had been heated. So kudos to you, Wizarding Trunk. Right, let's have a look what's inside this bubble wrap something fragile maybe a potion or an ingredient for my potion shelf yep i think i might be correct but what could it be oh wow <laughs> this is unicorn hair by the pure blood apothecary i quite like the label um we've got some twine around here we do actually have a unicorn wax stamp on the top of the bottle but more interestingly there's like, there's glitter and unicorn hair in there. Like it actually looks like a unicorn, like the tail of one has been given a little haircut and a trim. But yeah, it's really shiny. It does have that kind of magical effect on it. But yeah, so there we have it. <laughs> Another ingredient which we can add to our collection. But yes, unicorn hair. I like that one. <gasps> Ooh, they have treated us with not one, but two enamel pins and I think this one might be my favorite. This is gorgeous. This is a hard enamel pin so it's really slick and smooth. A lot of you guys always want to know how you tell the difference between soft and hard enamel. If it's really really smooth and there's no like pools like sunken pools of enamel then it's hard enamel but if it's not really flat then it's likely to be soft enamel. But this is beautiful. It's a ground keepers assistant pin with a wand and a shovel that are crossed in this kind of emblem. And I think that's really cute. So you could you could pretend to be working under the groundskeeper for the day. So that's quite nice. I actually really like that one. That's cool. I might attach that to my pin board on the Fantastic and Magical Beasts board. Very nice. I really love that. We do have a quite exciting box that looks like this, which I will open shortly, but this has my attention as well. And I do believe that this is tea. It's been a while since we've seen teas in subscription boxes. This says giant pumpkin seeds. I love the tin. Really, really like the design of this tin, actually. Really nice. Oh, it's giving me autumn vibes. I am definitely gonna repurpose this tin with something, but let's find out what's inside. So this says that it is pumpkin spice tea. So it's black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger. Okay, let's open it on up. Oh wow, it really is. There's the tea. So I do, I do actually have a teapot that I can strain this in. You can see the green pumpkin seeds. Oh my God, let me smell this smells really strong it's really pungent but you know what <laughs> and i think this is the most important part when i smell that i can imagine like hagrid's hut smelling like this so it kind of transports you to the scene of the groundskeeper and his home and i think that's really clever because smells are really they're really powerful in what they can do it's like sometimes when i go on holiday i will specifically buy a new perfume to wear so in the future whenever i wear it it reminds me of holidays it's why i love sun cream because it just transports me to a happy feeling the smell of this tea is very autumnal for a start it's giving very woody very spicy very cozy i think that's really clever I I know it's just a tea, guys, but the smell of it and the theme of it combined, it's impressive if you think about it. And I just think that's the darnest and like the cutest tin in the world. Um, it's absolutely adorable. 
I do like it a lot. Let's whiz through some of the paper replicas before we get onto the big exciting box. Let's start with this. This is another page for the Magical Creatures A to Z. We get these in a lot of the Wizarding Trunk boxes to collect and we're currently on K. So we do actually have Kelpie. Uh, we were introduced to Kelpies properly in the Fantastic Beast films. There's a beautiful little illustration down here. I love the kind of faux torn pages and how aged it is and then on the back we've got a kraken um which looks like this i think i'm more of a fan of a kelpie to be honest but this has the description of magical beasts so that you can learn about them and maybe you can follow in newt scamander's footsteps and be a magic zoologist who knows but either way i do quite like these and i have collected them all we have an artwork which is on it's about it's roughly a four sized ish uh, maybe a little bit smaller, but this is a lovely piece of artwork from inside Hagrid's hut. We've got a hippogriff outside with all of the pumpkins. We have the egg. In fact, they've started doing something really quite smart with these. They have hidden all of the products in this box in the picture. So let's have a closer look. So here is the golden egg. We've also got the oven gloves. We've got the tea, which is here. We've got the little keys on their hoop. And I guess you could say that there's um, cups of tea there as well. And I just think that's so cute. Is that meant to maybe be the pin? I might be reaching there. But either way, definitely take a close look at all of the details on the artwork that the Wizarding Trunks are doing at the moment because this is a very cozy, cozy vibe print. <laughs> One of my favorite paper kind of magical things that the Wizarding Trunk do are the Enchanter magazines. This is their take on the Quibbler and I just think they're so nice. I love that they've got foiling on there. <laughs> you guys know. I don't even need to keep saying but yes these are great because they are a fully designed magazine for witches and wizards so that you know this is what this is what they read in the magical world there's like puzzles my favorite part though which is probably on the back pages um the well yes they've got horoscopes so i'll read mine in a moment but they also have like advertisements which is quite cool but yeah so um let's read let's read my horoscope shall we um in fact if you would like to pause to read yours there you go you can pause to read your horoscopes but mine says you can achieve anything right now if you commit to it neglect your health and your well thought out plans will go wrong lizards won't be any good to you for now <laughs> that's so random um but yes they also have like tarot cards i'm a big 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 fan of tarot cards in general i am someone that practices tarot i have many decks and i find it a really therapeutic thing to do so yes love to see those in here that pleases me quite a lot <laughs> but yes these are fantastic i have quite the collection and one of these days i'm just going to sit down with like a pile of enchanter magazines and just read through them all it must be so fun to put these together so yes we have the enchanter magazine and last but not least we do have a quite large box to open i say last but not least I nearly missed the recipe. And of course, the recipe that fits absolutely perfectly with this theme is for rock cakes. So here, this is the recipe. They serve 10, it takes 10 minutes to prep, 20 minutes to cook. So half an hour, you could be eating your very own rock cakes. So here are the ingredients if you would like to make your own at home. Um, and also on the back, there is the directions. And this is really neat to like, I like how, short they are and how kind of like they have condensed a whole recipe to quite a petite little recipe card which is quite nice i do quite like baking but i was i was literally saying to a friend the other day i was like i haven't baked since 2020 properly like i may have done a magical kitchen since maybe maybe not actually <laughs> I love baking. I really do need to put some time aside at some point to do something in the kitchen like that. Right, here's the box. Have I saved the best or last? I'm just quite excited. It's a really nicely designed box. It says Stormwood's Magical Creature Rescue. Let's open it and see what's inside. I have no guesses. It's gotta be something to do with creatures. Oh. Ah! 
made a little hippogriff statue and he's stood on some grass. Um, I think I would have preferred it if it didn't have the grassy base. That's me definitely being fussy. But here it is. It's um, a custom kind of moulded, it's made out of resin hippogriff and it has been painted as well. You can see all the feathers and the eyes and the little beak and his little feet. I say little, they're probably ginormous in person. And the wings on the inside and his his little hippogriff booty. Um, don't know why I made it weird, I do apologise. But yes, we have um, a hippogriff. That's quite nice. I could probably find a home for this on the shelves, I think. I don't have a hippogriff statue. And it does look like a hippogriff, like the proportions look kind of right the feathers like the face of it and everything yeah cute little finale okay before we get on with the cheat sheet let's have a look at our entire haul from the wizarding trunk special edition box for this month okay so this is the entire haul from this box which was themed around the groundskeeper of hogwarts um it's really nice it's a lovely nod to hagrid and i do think that's really nice you can really feel where the inspiration has come from i think my favorite items before we get onto the cheat sheet actually um are probably ones that you're maybe not going to expect i really really liked this hard enamel pin in this box it was really nice and that's definitely going onto my pin board and weirdly i really liked the glove and the egg mainly putting them together because it's from it's from the movie you guys know the scene that this has been inspired from and i just thought that was a really really lovely little bit of fun and I do like fun, so that's good. So I think those were probably my top favourites. And a close third might have even been the tea, just because the smell of it kind of transported me to the groundskeeper's hut, or at least what I would imagine it to smell like. I thought that was really, really clever. But let's take a look at the cheat sheet. So number one was the creature page and this was ripped right out of Magical Creatures A to Z. Uh, number two, we had the dragon egg handling oven mitts. <laughs> These oven mitts are perfect for taking hot items out of your cauldron or the oven. I love what they did there. But you should probably get it out before it hatches. Number three, we then had, oh, it's a bit hot. Should put my mitts on. We had the dragon's egg and it says, grab your oven mitts. It looks like your dragon egg is starting to hatch. What shall we call this baby dragon? Well, for me, I'm one of those people that has to name animals with the letter of the animal. So if it's a dragon, the name has to start with D. So I'm gonna call him Derek. <laughs> Just Derek the dragon. Fabulous. Then we had the portrait pin and it says this portrait will be perfect for your collection. We had the gate keys. This key topped with a winged boar. My bad, it wasn't a hog. We'll get you into the gates. The padlock for the gate has been shrunk to fit into your pocket. Should you need to lock the gate, simply enlarge the padlock. Okay, I will. I do know that spell. Uh, then we had the rock cakes recipe and it says the perfect rock cakes recipe to make for guests. Uh, then we had the hippogriff here. It says this beautiful creature is very proud but easily offended. I feel like I relate to you. <laughs> um, take care when approaching this beast. We then had another copy of the Enchanter. It said it's that time again. The quarterly edition of the Enchanter focuses on grounds and keeping and forestry. And it says be sure to subscribe to our quarterly subscription to ensure that you never miss out of an issue. Okay, so these are exclusive to the quarterly editions, just so you know. And this is designed by Wizardry Workshop, but it's written by the talented team at the Wizarding Trunk. So well done, you guys. I really enjoy those. Then we had the Groundskeeper Assistant Pin, which I'm definitely going to keep very safe. It says if you don't have your Groundskeeper shirt handy, wear this pin when helping out our favourite ground 
groundskeeper. And then last but certainly not least, we had a giant pumpkin seeds um, tin. And it says this tin of giant pumpkin seeds would taste great if steeped in hot water for three to five minutes. These giant pumpkin seeds will taste just like pumpkin spice tea. And it's practically magic. And this was designed by Wizardry Workshop as well, but created by the Half-Blood Holistics. Um, yeah, lovely design on there. Oh my God, it's a double cider. Okay, we've got more. Of course we have. Um, we have the key holder. It says this key holder is perfect for any half giant with a few dozen keys to look around. We have included several extra key hoops for any of your past keys that may not have them included. That's very thoughtful. We then had the unicorn hair. It says unicorn hair has many uses. It is used in potion making as wand cores and by the gamekeeper to bind bandages. This unicorn hair was collected after it was shed by an adult male unicorn and the label was actually designed by here be monsters and it was bottled by the pure blood apothecary and then the final one which is the artwork which was the groundkeeper's cabin and it says that this is a little look into the groundkeeper's cabin let's have a look at all of these little they have like advertisements on here but normally there's clues for the next box aha uh -huh. so the next quarterly theme is going to be our favorite witches and wizards so that's quite exciting i do like the design of their cheat sheets i really do appreciate the work that goes into them so yes that is everything from the latest quarterly box from the wizarding trunk and hey as i said at the beginning of the video if you liked what you saw in this video and you're excited for the next theme of the quarterly box which is our favorite witches and wizards then you can get your very own and subscribe right now so the link's down below don't forget to use my discount code and thank you very much for watching if you did make it this far firstly 10 points to your hogwarts house and secondly if you could just give this video a quick magical thumbs up for me that would really help me and my channel out so thank you very much guys um i will reply to all of your comments very soon and i will see you in the next one bye <sighs> i've actually got another wizarding trunk to unbox now actually i'm very excited about that there's a little kitty cat staring at me on the box you'll see it in the next one